Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a Marvel Legends review and we'll be having a look at Series 3. And we'll start off with Daredevil. And this one is a bit of an interesting uh, figure because it's not actually based on the comic version of Daredevil rather than the actual yeah. movie. Ben Affleck, yeah. So, the first time that was done in the, in this series range. Um, and it kind of, it makes it kind of out of tone with the rest of the collection. I have to say, yeah. I did it with the Punisher one a bit later on as well, but um, oh, actually, yeah, and the face is quite. It looks a lot like um, uh, the actor. What was his name? Ben Affleck. No, 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 no for the Punisher one or something. Like that. Thomas Jane. Yeah. Tom, Thomas Jane. Yeah, so. Interesting, but um, yeah, overall, it's not bad. He's got proper little nunchucks there. I don't know this for a fact, but I've got a feeling they probably made this figure. Just as a, as a kind of movie time figure, then just released it in the Marvel Legends range. Yeah, I think as this le um, range picked up a bit of momentum. Because there is actually a um, a Daredevil figure they did in the this, this Spider-Man Legends, which was the precursor to, um, which is actually, you've actually got over there. Yeah. Um, oh, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is... is a precursor to the Marvel Legends. Yeah. Right. Just as a bit of a segue. So... This isn't actually part of the Marvel Legends as such. This is Spider-Man Legends, which came out before. But this will give you the card or the comic version of Daredevil, which I'm surprised they pretty much didn't re-release, to be honest. It's a very similar looking range. Um, it's a cooler figure, I think, because I quite like the, the DD bit there in the centre of his chest. And... Uh, the character. Yeah, it's interesting because they've even done the... Um, the stained glass window in the background is quite a bit different uh, here than it is uh, on there as well. They've used the same um, stickers for the actual oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. window bits. But the actual moulding is... Uh, yeah, the actual is... brickwork around it is different. Yeah. Right. Let's have a quick look at the back of this one. We can get rid of that one. Um, Explain it, yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's, overall, it's a good figure. The base is great, I think. It's got like uh, some dead uh, kind of warriors and, and things like that. But facially, uh, for anyone who's seen uh, uh, The Emperor's New Groove, the film, uh, there's um, kind of like this muscly Ballard uh, type of character. Um, <laughs> I think it might be voiced by Sylvester Stallone or somebody <laughs> like that. And he just reminds me so much of that. It's like, oh, hey, guys, oh, dog, sort of, sort of look on his face. So uh, uh, it, um, this is kind of a cool figure, I suppose, but um, yeah, he, does, he does look... Uh... Well, Thor was never, he's, you know, as powerful as he's never, he was never one of the best thinkers, was he? Mm, well, he's a warrior, isn't he? But, but I mean, this thing here that makes him look particularly thick I think. <laughs> <laughs> but it sort of looks like he's about to bash himself in the head with his own hammer. <laughs> but uh, yeah it's quite a it's quite cool. Cool. Who have we got next? Oh, you know, the, the back as well yeah same as the back. And this figure here looks fantastic I think so it's really well painted there. Magneto. There he is. There he is. It's a boy. I like. Quite. I like this figure. I like. I like his face. Yeah. I like the Sentinel in the background. It's a smashed up Sentinel. Yeah. It always interests me really because with the, like the stands and things like that, they obviously somebody spent a hell of a lot more time, like putting the individual stands together and making the individual moulds for those stands. It was obviously the figures. Uh, uh, I mean, this chances are. I mean, looking at that. I mean, you mentioned the Iron Man. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I think that's probably a very similar um, a mold, or, or, or probably use parts of of the other molds uh, to create that. But I think that's kind of yeah. The stomach part looks like it's probably off the Iron Man, which is a bit more appropriate with Magneto, I suppose, to have. Uh, of skin tight clothing rather than um, an armoured suit. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is one of my all time favourites. Um, so, this is the second Ghost Rider, the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider, uh, with a kind of the 90s sort of style bike. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's good. I really like this. I like the face. 
I like the fact you've got a real chain sort of going around there. I like the kind of like dirty look that they've sort of kind of given his um you know, his sort of suit. His his motorbike levers. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, and the bike's kinda of cool, isn't it? So yeah. It's a bit it's a bit street hawk meets uh you have a look, probably a little bit of a better look. And quite nicely you know, there's some nice details in this figure. Yeah, this is this is a quite a unique uh, figure and um, I think I think everything goes together quite well on it. Hmm. Cool. Wolverine. The uncanny X Men. Yeah. Kind of kind of a bit of an odd one this is. It's like a, a combination of like a block coloured style figure and then it's like somebody's added the shading into certain areas and then kind of not put it on all over if that makes sense. Uh, I think it's a bit of a mishmash character. Um, but all the same. I think I quite like it. I mean I quite like the contrast and the colours and you know I quite like the I personally quite like this figure. Um yeah, you know, I guess the face isn't massively well painted but Yeah it's okay. Yeah it's okay. And then um I quite like uh his battered and fallen foes. Like I said, mm. oh, the bases. The bases always like interest me because they're kind of like um, the amount that they, they, they were obviously offloaded to a completely different department. Yeah. And uh, and they're very. Oh, got Hellfire Club. To, uh, yeah. So would you in the bottom there? Yeah. yeah. So that is series three. Um, what's your favourite figure from series three? Leave us a comment, and we will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.